Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another small miner and this one is called the M5P Heavy Miner which is this lovely thing right here. It's a small atmospheric miner for you to spawn in and use to collect up all your precious resources in survival mode. Pressing F10 and finding the Heavy Miner in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 1,376 small blocks using none of the DLC packs. We've got a little bit of information on there about what it's using and as well as the singular script which is the automatic LCD. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside and then we're going to drill a hole through this mountainside and see how well it does. So at the very front here we can see we've got our standard cockpit which has got a ore detector just below it and all the way around it we've got thrusters, batteries and of course drills. If we get a bit closer we can see we've got our regular block skins which is housing all of our batteries, we've got spotlight on the side and some thrusters to help us stop. Just above our cockpit we've got a spotlight and we can see just behind there two large cargo containers and even more thrusters. If I just pull out here and move around the side You'll be able to see how our drills have all been connected up. They'll all come down and meet at the very middle of our large cargo container where that one thruster here is blocking our vision. So if we come across to here, that is how they're all being hooked across. On the side, we can see some more great block work just holding everything together, as well as an LCD screen showing the company name. We've got some more atmospheric thrusters to help on our left and our right. If we take a cheeky peer up here, we can see a large battery to keep this thing all nice and powered. As we move along to the back of the ship, even more atmospheric thrusters, some more large batteries, a few more spotlights to help you reverse as well as a camera to make sure you can lock up that connector. And just below here, just below these reddish blocks, we got some ejectors to make sure we can get rid of any kind of unwanted items, which will largely be stone. If we come down and underneath first of all, we've got some more connectors and some more ejectors. We can see some gyroscopes to make sure we've got plenty of control over this, especially when we're all heavy with resources. As we move towards the front, we then got a timer block which has all been set up to do a docking sequence where we can turn everything off with a press of a button. And all the way around to the very top, past our cockpit, there we go, we can see the tops of our drills we can see some more small batteries, some more gyroscopes, more abstract thrusters, and we've got an access point to the large cargo container right there. And we do have one final thing, which is the programmable block right there, really well hidden on top of a battery, which is for our automatic LCD script. And that is pretty much it. It's a very nice and simple ship. It does look great with how few blocks it's used. It's just basically being a support strut holding in all the important items, such as the containers, batteries and thrusters. So now it's time for me to take control of my character and show you what this thing can do. So on tab number one, we then have controls over our thrusters, where number one is for our backwards thrust. If we go forwards, we would simply cruise along there and not use much power. But if we want to stop, we can put that on and we'll come to a stop. Number two is for our drill. So instead of using our left mouse, by doing that and just clicking to drill we can simply press number two and it will just drill all the time. Turning that off and pressing number four this is our reverse camera view so we can get a good view behind us to make sure we're not going to back into anything explosive. Number five is for our camera on our bottom connector we've got a very good view here to make sure we can connect this up all nicely without damaging our ship. Number six is for our docking script which is simply going to turn off all our thrusters, gyroscopes, all detectors and all that to make sure we are properly turned off when we dock up. So I'm just going to press that and we're going to come crashing back down to the ground. Luckily this ship is very solid so it takes quite a collision to break it apart. But let's just go and switch back our systems, put our thrusters back on and switch the batteries back to auto and up we go. Number seven is for our systems which if I come over to here because it's much more easier to display our systems include our thrusters, our lights, our ejectors, our gyroscopes, our large atmospheric thrusters and our ore detectors and spotlights. 
So there we go. So if you want to go on minimum power but still keep the ship running, you can dock yourself down and switch that off and now just turn off all the power guzzling items. Number 8 is for our battery to auto or recharge and number 9 is for manual control over our drills where our left mouse becomes drill and our right mouse becomes drill but not collect. On tab number 2 we then got a projector block which we can turn on and repair ourselves with and 7, 8 is the systems once again and we've got an extra button for the battery. And that is that. So now let's go and drill through this part right here. So here we go, we're just going to come up nice. We've got to drill without collecting first of all. There we go, so we make a nice flat surface for us to go into. And now we're going to switch to our collection drill. And hopefully the ejectors will start. There we go. They're now just going to push out all the stuff we don't need. So we're only after the resources such as tungsten and all that. Yes, we can just keep on going. We have about 46 minutes of power with this thing in full force. So you may need to slap on a reactor here and there or make sure your batteries are in tip-top shape before you go off on a long mining journey. Or you could come crashing down on your way back. We can just keep going there. Our batteries are going down quite fast. So we're down to, I thought I saw a 22 minute there. And now if we just back away, we are quite heavy. Let's see how this thing handles while we're slowly ejecting everything out. So going forwards, while we are quite heavy, we are relatively slow. It's still got a fair amount of speed for all those thrusters on there. And stopping as well is pretty damn good, which is something you really want with a mining ship. There's nothing worse than going full force and then slamming yourself into a base because you can stop in time. Going left. And going right, we are quite slow and we do carry quite a lot of momentum when trying to change directions. Going down will be quite fast, obviously. And going up, we are quite fast as well, which is bloody good. And then wiggling my mouse around, we got a nice amount of control over this. A little bit of weight on there, but it certainly suits a mining ship. So we can just fly along here and just carpet bomb stones everywhere. I'm sure this will be fine. And yes, it's a very good little ship. If you just want a small one to start mining with. So let's just come over to here one final time and just do a little bit of drilling. There we go, nice little slam into that. And here we are. So to finish off this video, let's go and get some speed and slam ourselves into this mountainside. I think that was where I started. Let's just see what kind of damage we can do with a full on collision. So as always, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you did want to play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. And we appear to have jammed our drill heads straight through the textures. How about that? Anyway, bye bye.